Hi, welcome to one of the first videos on this channel. Uh, one of the first things we're going to have to learn is root mathematics. And root mathematics is pretty simple. It's going to be a really short video, but uh, you'll get the point. It's something we have to learn first before we go on to the next stuff, so just kind of understand this concept. So root math is basically trying to find the root number of any given number and by root number means a single digit that represents this number. And it's easy to find, you simply just need to add up all the digits in the number until you're left with a single digit. For example, we have the number 365 here. Now if you take 365 and you add each of the digits together, 3 plus 6 plus 5 will equal 14. And now we have to take 14 and we have to add the 1 and the 4 together and that will give us a 5. So this basically tells us that the root number to 365 is 5. In another example, 296. So we have 2 plus 9 plus 6 equals 17. And then we have to take 17, add those two numbers together to give us 8. 1 plus 7 equals 8. So the root number for 296 is 8. So another thing we can do with 296 is simply cross out the 9 and get rid of it. Anytime you have a 9 in a, a number, you can just basically cross it out or get rid of it because it will basically equal the same if we calculate it with a 9 or without a 9. So here, for example, 296, cross out the 9, and we're left with 26. 2 plus 6 equals 8, which in the example above shows 296 root numbers 8. So again here, 26 root numbers 8 equates out to be the same. Now here in this example with 99, because 9s are kind of special, but if we add the 9s together, 9 plus 9 equals 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9. So anytime you're dealing with 9 plus 9s or 999, nine, nine, any kind of 9 in a number, the root number for a 9 is always 9. Another interesting thing about 9 is that it kind of equals 0. Because if you have a 0 or a 9 in these equations, they both can be crossed out and just ignored. So it's kind of interesting. So that's basically how root mathematics works. Uh, you'll need to understand this before we continue on with our other topics. So I hope that wasn't too difficult, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So in the next video, we will be talking about the doubling series and how uh, that all plays into this. Yeah, so look forward to that video. It should be out in the next few days.